This is stage one of the wheel demonstration. The overall purpose of the complete demonstration is using our tribrid modeling functionality that's working with surfaces, solids and triangles to reverse engineer an alloy wheel then to re-engineer the design features. During this stage we should be looking at preparing the scan model for reverse engineering. We have a triangle mesh scan model and we will be showing some triangle modification and editing techniques including interactive triangle editing and hole filling as well as our trimming and limiting options. If we select the relative image from our HTML rolling demonstration it will load the appropriate model. We can see that we have a scan model. We can see that the scan data has continued down the side of the wheel and there are some areas here that we're not going to need. So if we select the triangles we can open up our paint triangles option We have a range of options in here for selecting specific triangles. So we can select the triangles that we are not going to want. If we look around the back of the model, we can see another area here. Once we have selected all those, we can remove them. What you will notice is that there are some scattered triangles here that also need deleting but at the moment they are part of the main triangle model. So if we select the triangles then select divide we'll divide them so they are no longer part of the main model. We can then select the main model blank it from view, select all the other smaller triangles and delete them. We can then re review the model we can see we still have slightly rough edges around the edge of the scan data. So what we can do is limit back this scan data to a nice smooth surface edge. If, if we activate the work plane in the wheel center and create a simple cylinder We can then take hold of it, dynamically drag it to our required size and reverse it. If we select the cylinder now, using our general limiting options, we can limit the triangle mesh back to the newly created cylinder surface. We can see that the model has been limited back. If we delete the surface, and take a look at this edge now, we can see we have a nice smooth edge around the outside of our scan data. We can see that we have some holes in the scan data. So if we select the mesh and open up our triangle editing options, we can select our fill holes tab. Then if we select the outside edges of the holes. We can apply this and it will automatically fill the holes in the triangle model. If we turn the model around now, also in this area here if we select this bottom edge and zoom in to one of the gaps, we can select to bridge across this gap and fill that hole. Now that we have filled some of the holes in the model, if we take a look at the model we can see that the surface of the triangle model is not particularly smooth. We can turn on smoothness shading to further evaluate this. We can see any imperfections in the surface. So 
we can open up our interactive triangle editing tab. We can select our smoothing option. We can move around the model, smoothing it as necessary. Can smooth around this edge. We can reduce these values to smooth more delicate areas of the model. We turn on smoothness shading again now. We can see that we have a much smoother triangle model. So our scan data is now ready for the reverse engineering process. You can see that we have quickly and easily edited the triangle data, including limiting and trimming it, filling in of holes, and interactively editing triangles.